it's funny when I see him start doing things, I'm like, Kim, Kim, look, he's doing something. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he's already done it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So at this time of the evening, Kim and I usually have a cup of tea before we go to bed. Um, it's kind of our reconnect time, I guess, just to catch up on how the day's been. Like our tea time. Yeah, so usually uh, Kim's home most of the day with baby and the dog, and I'm out at, at training. So tonight we thought we would try something a bit different and we would share with you guys what we've been up to the last month and a bit. So um, before we get into it, please like and subscribe. And let's get the show on the road. Let's get it. So the past month, um, there's been a lot happening with Ethan. So if you guys follow Nems and I on Instagram, um, Ethan's learning how to talk. He says a few words now. He knows mama, dada, ne dada. Nene, Fijian for mum. Fijian for mum, saying Ganga, which is Fijian for winner or winning. Yep. Winning, winning. Which is a song. Which is part of a song, yep. uh, a gospel song that I play to him before he goes to sleep. And yep. every time it comes on, he's like, Ganga, Ganga. Oh. He's already a winner. Yeah. It's just amazing how quick he can learn yeah. or what kids or babies can yeah. learn. Such a, a short, short time. time. Yeah. And then whenever he like he finishes food, like if he doesn't want anymore, he'll just start clapping. Yeah, so that <laughs> like that, he's finished. I'm, I'm finished, Mum. That started like not long ago either. No, right? it was maybe like within the past two weeks. For him, Kim sees this every day. Yeah, the at progress. Home. Whereas I don't really get to see it. I mean when I get home, I leave home at what, seven in the morning? Yeah. I don't get home till about four, four o'clock in the afternoon. So by the time I get home, he's either having a nap or he's woken up from a nap and he's you know, I only get to spend a few hours with him, but it's funny when I see him start doing things, I'm like, Kim, Kim, look, he's doing something. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he's already done it. It's always a special moment when you see um, him evolve, I guess. Yeah. Like, you know, like I thought children are supposed to drink from straws and, you know, like the pop tops and um, the satchel, like um, smoothie satchels, the baby ones, like, like, in, like in another six months or so. But yeah. he's only just 11 months and he's drinking well, out of straws. Well, yeah, I mean, it's what we read up anyway. Yeah. And the one thing I've noticed with him, he's a quick eater. Yeah. And a quick drinker. So he <laughs> but can... when he eats, he like slurps it like it's spaghetti. Yeah. So like anything we give him, he's just like. <laughs> he's like, bro, calm down. Like, oh, you're not supposed to do it. You're supposed to chew. So we're trying to teach him how to chew. Trying to teach him manners, yeah. but um, <laughs> no, he's um, he's going good. I guess for you, how's it been the last few months? seeing him grow, but how, has it changed you in terms of like how you look after him? I mean, it's all probably the same, but... It's more hands-on. So yeah. the biggest milestone we've got to mention is he started walking a couple oh, yeah. of days ago. So now that he's walking, it's a little bit more, I don't know if it's easy or harder at the moment because we keep him like within his like playroom or mm -hmm. playpen sort of thing. But I don't know, I think once he starts like <coughs> really running around, it'll be a bit difficult for me Yeah, because it's already hard just to put clothes on him. Like I have to chase him around the room in circles and he'll just laugh at me and keep crawling and run, um, walking. I think physically tiring. Yeah, more physically yeah. tiring. And then when he eats now, it's like, he just thinks it's so fun to throw food. Like, you know, the little mini passes, like the baby passes, yeah. he'll just be like, <laughs> like confetti. He, he, loves throwing, he loves throwing them to the dog. So the dogs eat like what's, what he throws to hang around, around him. They hang around him. Yeah. Um, but he's saying that like him with the dogs, um, he's, he's, Paco really loves him. Yeah. So I, and he loves Paco, like he'll throw toys yeah, for Paco. They, those two will get along real well. Rocky's kind of like the the older, staunch guy, you know, yeah. he's just there to look after him. And he can throw now. He can. Mm -hmm. That's one thing, like, we, he's in his play room, so we've, one of the spare rooms have just turned into like his room. Yeah. So he can walk, he can do everything in it. But this one time we. We were inside, we were in the room, and we had the window open. Oh. Was he going to throw one of your things out? No, it was his toy. Oh, his toy. He was going to throw it out the window. Yeah. We were just like, no, close that thing back yeah, up. Yeah, close it up. He'll probably throw my mobile phone out there. Yeah, that'd be pretty The funny. TV remote out there. He'll throw something out there. But um, no, he's good. He's, he's getting bigger. Yeah. Like, what was he when, was it when you guys first back arrived? He was back like 11 Kilo. kilos. Yeah. I would not be surprised if he's put on an extra two. Yeah. He's so heavy. Like, Nam's has to give me a massage at least once a week because my back is dying. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, even for me, like, I'll lift him, I'll carry him, and even I know that he's heavy. Yeah. And he's eating a lot. So, the good thing is, when he eats a lot, 
he goes to sleep straight away. Yep. Which is must be a Fijian thing. Yeah, and and he loves to eat while we're eating. Like he refuses to eat baby stuff. Yeah. Like we've said in the past. But tonight, what do you have? He had beef ribs. Beef ribs. Yep. He had um, potato. Potato salad. Pork ribs. Yeah, yep, pork ribs. <clears throat> yeah, like he just. He's an islander baby, he's from Fiji. Um, we, we, we got fed the same thing when I was young, so if it turns out like me, you'll know why. No, but there was like a, a week that we've gone through recently that um, I thought I would try him on new formula because the formula I had him on was from France and Australia also sold it. But then because of Brexit, they stopped shipping to the UK. Um, and then so I thought I'd try a UK brand and then it just didn't sit well with him. Yes. Well, he's okay now. Yeah. We've, we've tested all the milks. We gave, I gave him milk. full cream milk. He was all right, but it was a bit too much for him. Yeah, he doesn't like he it. He didn't though. really like it. Like he drank it, but it was like, you could tell he was kind of like forcing yeah. himself. But he did like goat's milk. He yeah. did like that. But isn't there a thing like people are saying, oh, that by 12 months we have to get him off it or something? Yeah, so they've got not long to go. Not long, yeah. But well, anyway, I was able to find a pharmacy in France that that's shipped still, here. Oh, so. And we have to wait an extra three days, four days? Uh, a week. So. <sighs> Stressful. But anyway, he's happy now. He's back to his usual self, smiling. Well, is, yeah. Yeah, because he wasn't. He was very angry <clears throat> and upset oh, <laughs> for yeah. those days. I don't blame him. But yeah, um, so what else is he? He's, he's just progressing day by day. Nice. He knows how to say hi, but he whispers it. He's like, hi. 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 No, he's, he's doing really well. He's doing really well. So, uh, oh, and there's one thing when people are saying it gets easier when, when you get older, something when he gets older. That is utter bull crap. <laughs> Sorry, but it doesn't get any easier. In some parts, yes, some parts, no. Do you know? Like yeah. now I know if he's full. Like he doesn't well, want to eat. Yeah. No more you than know, me. It, but other parts it's physically hard because I've got to like chase after him. He's like, he's like punching me now. He like wants to fight me. And I was like, I want to fight your old man. Not yet, buddy. <laughs> uh, but you know what I like? How, okay. So in our house, it like echoes. So when he's upstairs in the playroom with me and Nems comes home, he'll be like, ah! and then so it echoes and then Nems is like, ah! and then he keeps doing it. He comes to the door until he sees me. Well, it's like, Hey, pretty yeah. much. It's so cute. For me, I've, I was injured for 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. That was, you know, that was tough. I'm back playing again, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, played my first game two weeks ago. So the aim of the game is to not get injured till the end of the season. Fingers crossed. Uh, fingers <laughs> crossed. But um, no, it's been, it's been good to be back. I think while I was injured, I had a lot of time um, at home. I got to do, you know, my training sessions didn't um, involve the team. It was a lot of individual training with the rehab, with the physios. I did a lot of my rehab with the physios. And, so I could go in at seven in the morning and then I'd be home by what, 10, 11, eight. Mm -hmm. So that was good in that sense. Um, but you, you know, you sort of miss being in an environment with your teammates. Yeah. Um, but yeah, excited we played, I played Northampton and we lost. And then we played a semi-finals um, the other night and we won that against Ulster, which is a tough team from Ireland. Um, that was amazing. Yeah, the way we played too, I thought it was really good. Yeah, it was really um, good. I was stuffed. I only played 62 minutes. But it's my second game in 10 weeks, so it takes its time. I was like, yep, he's tired. And then, um, but we've won that game, and now we're playing in the finals of the, what's it called? Let me get it right, European Challenge Cup. It's like do, you want me, do you want me to check Wikipedia? Yeah, European Challenge Cup, Google. so. And we're playing against my old team, Montpellier. So, I can't believe that. Yeah, that'd be pretty Honestly, exciting. that's crazy. Yeah. I've, what are the odds? Come on. Yeah. Out of all the teams crazy. in the pool, you play your ex team. Yeah. Um, but no, I won't go in too much about yeah. it, but I'm excited to play against them and hopefully we can, you know, we and can. And see your old teammates. Yes, see my old teammates. Of course, I've been in, in contact with them over, since I've been over here anyway. So that'll be, that's yeah, not for another three weeks away, but. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, there'll be a lot of emotions. But hey, rugby is rugby, you know, so yeah. can't wait for that one. Yeah, we're looking forward to what lies ahead. Um, yeah. Our season finishes in June. So um, for me, rugby wise, there might be a possibility of getting picked for Fiji, not sure. Yeah, I think the good thing is the weather's starting to get a bit better. A bit better. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like sometimes it snows for 10 minutes. Or random. Hails, or, hails. or hails for 10 minutes. <laughs> Very random. That was weird. A training, a training, it hailed on Friday at training yes. or Thursday. It was like sunshine and yeah. hail. 
and I was like getting hit by ice. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Family was like, I think we're in a, we're in a good space. Yeah. It's been a tough year, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, moving through COVID, and you know, baby turns one um, in a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks. Actually, it's Kimber's birthday next week or the week after. Yeah. Um, and then Paco's birthday. Then yeah, Ethan's then birthday. birthday. Yeah. So it's been a, a crazy 12 months. There's been a lot of highs and definitely a lot of lows. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of lows, but. You know, the good thing is time heals and we're just blessed to be in a good space right now yeah. and as a family. Like, yeah. it was stressful. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, any, anything else? Uh, I think that's about it that we've, that we've been Covered for now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, should be good. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we'll leave it there. And we hope you loved our little chit-chat over tea. And until next time, bye for now. Bye.